Hey, good afternoon guys. Ron here with Precision Sail Loft doing a uh, how-to video on how to put together your Precision Sails Lazy Jack Bag. Uh, what you've got here is an example. This happens to be a McGregor 26. Uh, this sail is a loose footed sail. So what we've done is put some sliders along the base of this uh, bag. So that'll slide down the track in the boom. Um, if you have that configuration, that's what we'll be looking at. We've also uh, provided the line as well as some rings and I'll show you the best I can on how to kind of set that up. Now I'm, I'm in the loft floor here, so uh, a recommendation, if you have some space either at home or uh, in your yard or at the marina, if you can set this up on the lawn and get it kind of uh, configured before you get down to the boat, this uh, is a really good way of kind of trying to figure things out. So what I've done is we've got uh, an extrusion here in the loft from a um, uh, CDI furling system that we have yet to install, uh, but it's laying in the loft here. So I've used that to simulate the mast and then I'm simulating the boom, of course, with the bag. And now I'm going to uh, try to lay out some, some of the lines and, and how they work. So um, bear with me. Uh, we'll try to make this uh, as simple as possible for you. Unfortunately, every boat is a little bit different. So uh, this one happens to be for a three ring uh, system. I'll, I'll also kind of post uh, an example for a four ring system. Uh, and those are the grommets on the uh, bag itself. Uh, so the longer the boom, the more uh, uh, spots you're going to have to attach it. So the first thing that you want to do when you're putting your bag together, your Lazy Jack bag, is you're going to install your batten. So if you've opted to uh, get the batten that uh, is an option, which is a round batten, uh, you can go ahead and, and install those. And what you're going to do is you're going to open the end of the bag uh, where this batten slot is and you're gonna slide it down the slot. This one's a bit long, but uh, I just wanna make sure that when you do that, you wanna close this Velcro enclosure up so that that batten can't slide out. Um, this one, as I said, is a bit long, so she's sticking out a bit, but um, if you've opted not to get the battens with us, uh, then uh, a nice alternative actually is one inch PVC piping. Actually works quite well. So a nice, uh, you know, lower expense and a little bit simpler, especially easy, uh, easier to ship as well. So uh, you just go to your local hardware store and you can get that. Uh, so that's how you're going to install the batten. So the next step that you want to do once you've got your bag laid out and your batten's installed, um, you want to take the line, and I've just found this line in the, in the loft. I didn't want to use the customer's line, obviously, and cut it up. So. I just found this line and what you want to do is you're going to go through the grommet with the line and you're going to attach to the batten. So tie it on there. I like to use a Bolden knot, but you use your favorite knot. And at this point, what we want to do is just uh, lay it out so that we have extra line and we can adjust it a little bit later. So what you're going to do is you're going to run the line through one of your rings uh, from one grommet down to the next so that we can make this very nice triangle. And uh, we're going to adjust it obviously as we kind of move forward. But you're going to, that's step one, ring one, is you're going to make this nice triangle. That's uh, the first line uh, kind of figured out here and roughed out. Uh, what we're going to do now is go from the third grommet, we're going to attach a line through the grommet onto the uh, batten, and then we're going to slide a ring onto this one. And at the end of this, we're going to, this is going to be more vertical. And we're going to actually attach this line uh, to the first ring. And I'm just going to quickly tie a, a quick knot here, but I would suggest you do a bowl in or something similar to that uh, that has a little bit more stay power than what I just tried. Um, and this is going to come up vertical, and you can start to see how this is going to start to lay out. And with the rings, the way that they're positioned is going to allow for equal tension on each one of the uh, grommets or the batten uh, to support your bag. Once we've got our first uh, two lines set up with uh, two rings, we're ready to move on to attaching it up to the uh, shackle uh, or uh, block at the top of your mast, or halfway up your mast actually. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the last line again, just kind of simulating uh, so that I don't use this customer's line, and we're going to actually attach to this last ring, and then we're going to run the line up. I like to see it about halfway or a little bit higher up your mast and then it's going to go through your block and back down the mast to a cleat at the, uh, at the base of your mast. 
And that's basically how we lay it out. Um, once we get there, go down to the boat, make sure that you can get uh, a block or a shackle uh, up on your mast so that it doesn't get, interfere with any other rigging that you've got, and uh, click down at the bottom, and gear off to the races. Hope this helps, guys. Uh, reach out with questions.